Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 14th, 2024. Let us get into that. Give me just a second to pop something over, and we will dive right in. So, um, here are the uh, oops, uh, here are the headlines for this week. A um, bunch of different stuff. Uh, some anime announcements. Spy Family Code White is the number one film in Japan, and The Boy and the Heron won a Golden Globe. Uh, more on that stuff a little later, though. Uh, let's actually dig into the headlines. I need a sound effect, I think, for the headlines. A little, little yeah, sound yeah. clip. Ta -da! Ta -da, ta -da. There we go. Um, donkey so, chips. Donkey chips. We'll start with that Spy Family news. So the Spy Family Code White film is in its third weekend in the box office, still at number one. Um, nice. in, indeed, sold about $3.8 million worth of tickets this past weekend. Bring its total up to $29.14 million after opening in Japan on December 22nd. Uh, it's an all new original story in the Spy Family universe. So that is awesome to see. Um, the Detective Conan versus Kid the Phantom Thief is at number four. Ooh, FYI. So, yes, yeah, Spy Family. Well, you know, how can you refuse Anya? Exactly. Honestly. Yeah. How can you? You can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this is, it, it's the Anya show. Let's be <laughs> honest. Um, moving on from there, um, so back when he was, I think, 19 years old, um, a, a young buck named Ichiro Oda made a, a little one shot called Monster, and there is a Netflix anime of that coming out in just about a week from now. Oh, wow! Uh, and so they've uh, announced the cast, so more about that, um, out there. So, um, uh, Yoshimasa Hosoya as Ryuma. Kana Hanazawa as Flair, Hiroki Tochi as Serrano. So cool to see. It's going to be a one shot anime as well. Um, but uh, yeah, would you watch this? Probably. Yeah. Uh, Netflix has been doing better and better with with their anime choices. So True. and and you know, I am curious to see this one shot. Indeed, from the beginning of this austere, the very beginning of, of somebody who's gone on to do rather well. Yes. So that's cool to see. Um, moving on to some anime announcements. There were quite a few oh, this wow. time around. Uh, so there's this project called Kametsu Baki Shi Kensetsu Chu, uh, Kametsu Baki City Under Construction. Uh, and it's this sort of multimedia project, I guess you'd call it, they've been working on for a little while, um, by Kametsu Baki Studio, a creative agency that specializes in visual artists, virtual artists such as VWP, who did Bubble Alternative and Cardfight Vanguard Divines. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been working on this since 2019. There's an alternate, alternate reality game and some kind of like tabletop role playing game thing. Uh, and they've been unraveling this mysterious story. So uh, the virtual artist group VWP are the project's voice cast members. And uh, there'll be an anime of that coming soon. Uh, plus plans for video games. Shocker. 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 Um, but it was pretty cool, gotta say. Uh, let's see what else. Um, one Paku Token Ranbu is also getting an anime. Um, so you know Japanese swords. Right, yes. Um, what better way to show off Japanese swords than as the shonen? I cannot think of a better way than to show samurai swords, katanas, as the shonen. Totally. So, you know, I... I I gotta stop. Yeah, yeah. The filter's gotta come on. <laughs> the filter's gotta come on. There's, there's, that's it's almost like low hanging fruit for me. That is, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. Think what you um, will, folks out there in chat land. Yeah. So this is their ninth anniversary. They had several announcements. The first was for the mischievous Token Ranbu anime series coming at some point. Um, there's been various goods, pop up stores, and other items um, with the characters as uh, redesigned by Sanrio. Um, so this was a Nitro Plus original uh, characters and scenarios. It was a game launched in Japan in January 2015. So this is, I guess, the Sanrio reinterpretation of that. Yes. So looks cute. Got to admit. Will you buy the backpack? Will you buy the... Um, no, but... Ah. <laughs> but looks cute. Um, Atashin Chi is also getting a YouTube anime. Uh, I've, I, it's one of those things where I've seen that name before once yeah. or twice. Um, it is a franchise, original manga, um, uh, inspired in a TV anime back in 2002, which ran for seven years. Jeez. 
um, which is pretty darn good. Uh, there was a film in 2003, uh, another film, uh, another TV anime series. Um, it, it was on Crunchyroll. So we're getting another one. And it's one of these you know, everyday life in a normal family kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, one of those coming. Cool. Would you watch this? What? The, what no, no. The, this, oh, oh, the that, oh, the, um, I feel like I'd eat the cookies. It looks like cook. They look like cookies. To me <laughs> I don't know why I'm focusing on that, but they seem like cookies. Yeah. Um, I'd probably give it a try. Okay, myself. It's, it, it looks weird enough. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm hoping it's sort of screwball comedy. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, finally, we get a license in the license side. Well, no, on the announcement side, a lot of licenses to come. Announcement side, uh, Soshi Min. Uh, I'm sorry, Cho Shi Min is a mystery novel series about uh, a boy and a girl who just want to live ordinary, normal lives, but keep getting sucked into mysteries and strange things. Because, you know, anytime that you want a normal, stable life, it's anime. So you, you can't. Not going to happen. Can't. Just not going to happen. happen. So it looks good, though. It definitely looks good. Um, so this is going to be a TV anime series in July. Uh, this will be on the nomination block on TV Asahi. Um, the uh, anime director directed uh, You and Me, The Promised Neverland, and Hey, Elton Reed. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so, oh, if each episode just ends with them, like, you know, like ripping somebody's off the head, so, uh, no, we're not gonna. Mm -hmm. The uh, series script is being um, uh, overseen by Toshia Ono, who worked on Promised Neverland, Shadow's House, in 86. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, that's wow, interesting. That's going back. Um, and uh, the character designer from the designer for uh, Black Fox and Love Live Superstar. So, um, and the composer also worked on Promise Neverland. So it looks like a, much of that staff. Yeah. Uh, high level staff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to that. The uh, trailer is teenagers at school. Right. You know, uh, hanging around doing stuff. This is going to adapt uh, two of the novels uh, nice. there. The Case of the Springtime Limited Edition Strawberry Tart. Well, and the case of the summertime limited edition tropical park bay. I, I sense a theme. Possibly, possibly. It's a theme. Um, um, yes, uh, based on the other titles I'm seeing, you're correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, but that so those, those are the announcements. We also got some licenses. Discotech <laughs> likes to do this. <laughs> Where yeah, they've licensed a ton <clears throat> of stuff on their live streams. Yeah. So we are getting um, the original Berserk 1997 TV series or uh, anime series. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Think anyone will want that? Maybe a handful of people. I, yeah. I don't know. No, um, it's, it's that. That's gonna be. Yeah. That, yeah. That's really huge. I'm trying to think. And it's gonna be on Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, let's see here, HD remaster. Um, they will reuse the existing English dubs. Oh, nice. Um, okay. with any of the any of the extras. Um, so, um, and as they put it, yes, it's that one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. The original. Um, also licensing the Ursa Yatsura OVA series. Nice. All of them, which is like um, eleven OVAs. Jeez, <laughs> darling. Exactly. They'll be using the Animego subs. Um, Ten are native HD. One is an upscale based on what exists. So that is cool. Um, also getting a Mazen Kaiser, the classic mecha anime. Uh, getting uh, two Lupin the Third TV specials. Um, the the twenty third TV special <laughs> of Lupin. Lupin is a small franchise, folks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Very small. They're very, very small. small. They're doing their best there. Uh, and then the um, Princess of the Breeze. You know, what? I don't. I think that's one I've not yeah, seen. Which is the twenty fourth, as yeah. it turns out. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, also, a bunch of other mecha: uh, Space Emperor God Sigma, uh, Lightspeed Electroid Albegas, which is Voltron three. Uh, the anime they were going to use is Voltron three until um, they didn't. They didn't exactly. <laughs> uh, and then uh, also the Little Mermaid, not that one. No, the anime Little, Little Mermaid, Mermaid from nineteen seventy five. And just to give you an idea, I've actually seen this, mm -hmm. and it is the Hans Christian Andersen version, mm -hmm. i.e., the original. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, be prepared for that. It yeah. is, it is not the the 
from the kingdom. Mm, exactly. Um, we are technically under the sea, but not that sea. Right. Um, <laughs> if you would like to check an, out this before you actually buy it, Riff Tracks just released a yes. riff <laughs> of this movie. So you can go and get it there for a couple of bucks to check out that version of it. Um, so that should be should be fun. Um, we're also getting Sergeant Frog seasons five, six, and seven. Wow, which is cool. Wow. You know, there's one that like I think people are just like, oh, Sergeant Frog, yeah, but I don't think anybody's really like seen it. Yeah, you know? I agree. But, but it's one of those like mainstay animes that you gotta watch. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I don't think you need to see seasons one through three to get <laughs> five through seven, but yeah, this is fun. Yeah. A special little treat. I've also heard that Sergeant Frog is one of those shows that kind of. Um, um, evolves its humor as the yes. show goes along a little bit, yeah. so you get a yeah. kind of different feel of it as the show goes along. So that'd be fun. Um, also, getting Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha A's, which is the second Nanoha um, anime. And uh, how many more AMVs are we going to get for that particular series? Oh man! All right. Um, so for those unfamiliar, um, Nanoha was technically a spinoff of a visual novel. So they took one of they right. took a little girl and made a Magical Girl series out of this. Um, and it was unexpectedly popular. Um, did some interesting stuff, and then this, you know, moved along. We kept on spinning off and, and doing new stuff, so that was pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else? Also, getting Futakoi alternative. I am not familiar with Futakoi. Um, just sort of generally know that it's a. I think it is a visual novel thing, and this is kind of a spinoff of uh, anime of that. So Futakoi fans rejoice. Uh, Tonagura, please let us know if you heard, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you have no we, any idea, we have no idea. Is. We've got nothing. Um, similarly, Tonagura, yeah. uh, is a harem anime, reverse harem, or um, I think harem, 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 ha harem, harem. Yeah. okay. Um, oh, is that the one where they look like they're wearing pat labor? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, the one. Okay, they look um, like they're wearing pat labor, uh, uniforms. To quote Discotech, um, some shows are harem, but Tonagura is one that defies defines the word. Um, Kazuki is looking forward to her childhood friend Yuji to move back into the area. He comes back as an ultra pervert. Don't we all? It'll be fine, probably. So there's <laughs> so the answer is no, and a lot of those bleeds and slaps to the face. Indeedly. Uh, so that is the thing coming in 2024. Uh, also getting reborn, the special fan disc. I don't even no. know what this I is. Don't know. I, yeah. But good. <clears throat> we just watched somebody get shot in the face yeah. with that. So, you know. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, and then uh, Kenichi the Mighty's Disciple Attack of the Darkness OVA, uh, which is nice with a new English dub. And uh, I think that was it. Yes. Um, so, yeah, all of that is coming. Thank you, Disc Attack. Thank you, Disc Attack, for making us give, giving us another reason to come to the dealer's room. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And another reason to spend money. Uh, so that is the headlines. We'll talk about the boy and the heron after the break on the full version. But now, let's look at the um, the data. <laughs> 